Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this lesson, we'll see shunts and multipliers. I will explain in details what they are, how they are used, and how to calculate their relevant values. That said, let's get into class. I prefer we start from known to unknowns. I know you are familiar with your ammeter and your voltmeter. Permit my spelling, voltmeter. Now, while the ammeter is used to measure current, the voltmeter is used for voltages. Now, this ammeter, the symbol for the ammeter is A. When you look into an electrical circuit and you see a figure, letter A like this, that shows that I should have an ammeter connected. But for the voltmeter, the symbol for the voltmeter is V. If you look and you see V like this, that means I should have a voltmeter connected. Now, while the ammeter in an electric circuit is connected in series, to your load, adventure have a DC circuit where I want to measure the current around this resistor. I'll simply connect my ammeter in series and I should have my voltage source something like this. So the ammeter will be able to take measurement of what I have in this circuit or the current flowing around this resistor. Let's call that current I. Let's tag this resistor R. But if I want to connect a voltmeter, the voltmeter will be connected in parallel. If I have a voltage, a, a, a resistor, then I have a voltage source too. This way, probably, and I want to measure voltage across this resistor. Obviously, if I have five volts here across this resistor, I expect I have five volts. But if I want to measure the voltage across it, I'll connect my voltmeter connect it in parallel. This way, I'll be able to measure the voltage across this resistor. Or another good example is if I have my voltmeter this way, if I have two resistors, sorry, if I have two resistors, probably I have resistor R1 and resistor R2. Now, and I have a voltage source V across both of them. If I have a voltage source this way across both resistors, if I'm interested in the voltage across any of them, I'll simply connect my voltmeter, I'll connect it in parallel to that particular resistor, which is what I have done here. I'll be able to measure the voltage. Then if I want to measure the current in this circuit, I'll still connect my ammeter, I'll connect it in series. With the current, with the ammeter, I'll be able to measure the current along this line. Now, with that, you have seen how we use both ammeters and voltmeters in electric circuits. But these ammeters and voltmeters, the basic equipment that function in here, are always milliammeters. Milliammeters. I now need to use them to measure bigger current. If I need to move, use them to measure high current, then as an ammeter, I need to introduce what we call a shunt. And if I now want to use it to measure voltage at high voltages, I need to introduce what is called a multiplier. A multiplier. So this is where the concept of both multipliers and shunts come in. Shunts come in to help measure high current when I'm dealing with an ammeter. And same thing happens to multipliers. It comes in to help me use my small milliammeter to measure high voltages when I'm dealing with a voltmeter. Now, how do I connect both the shunt and the ammeter? Just a minute, I'll show you. Let's start. First, let's start with the ammeter. Remember, I said when actually connecting an ammeter, you connect the ammeter in series in an electric circuit. But when I want to measure high voltages and I need to apply a shunt to an ammeter, the shunt is connected in parallel to the ammeter. 
that is the short. Now remember the ammeter itself as minute resistance. Let's call that R. Now, if I have my current source this way, I have my I have my source, my voltage source. If I have my voltage source this way, just as you can see in this diagram, better I use this diagram up here. Now, from this diagram up here, I have my my shunt here. This is my shunt connected in parallel to the ammeter. Now, the ammeter itself has a small resistance. Now, this small resistance is what we have indicated here, and we have called RE. Now, if I have RE here, obviously, oh, I, this must have been a mistake. This is IS here. I have my I flowing in here into this circuit. Now, the I gets to this node. At this particular node, my I is equals to IE plus is note that this shunt has been connected in parallel to this ammeter so that the resistance here and the current flowing through it will definitely create a voltage same thing will happen in the shunt so that at the end of the day my is times rs with the same thing as ie I E R E. Why? Because they are connected in parallel. Now, if you missed a lesson on resistors in parallel, please do not hesitate to check the description below. We will place a link to it at the description below. And also, for your convenience, at the end screen of this lesson, I will place it, I will use it as the end screen. So that I S R S equals to I E R E. Now, to calculate the required shunt, I'm saying that my RS will be equals to IE RE over IS. From, let's call this equation 1. From equation 1, I can also deduce that my IS is the same thing as I minus IE. Let's keep this aside. Based on this particular deduction, we can now conclude that RS with the same thing as IE, RE, all over I minus IE. Now, this is the equation to calculate the shunt required for a particular ammeter when given the internal resistance of that ammeter. Now, let's look at our multipliers for our voltmeter. The same thing applies or similar thing applies in the voltmeter because in the voltmeter, rather than connecting the multiplier in parallel, in your voltmeter, the multiplier is connected in series. So that I will now flow through here. If I flows in here, the same I that will flow through the ammeter will also flow through the multiplier. Now remember that the, the ammeter has a little resistance which we have tagged R. Now, so that I now flowing through that meter will also create a potential difference, which we tag V. And the potential difference also across my multiplier is Vm. So that we can say that V is equals to Ve plus Vm. Let's call this equation 1. So that V now will be equal to I is flowing through both resistance. My VA is the same thing as I into RE plus the VM now will be I into RM. Remember, we're interested in finding the multiplier, the resistance of the multiplier. So that if V now, I can easily say that my voltage minus IE, I E will be equals to I R M. So to find R M, I'll be saying that my R M is the same thing as V minus I R E over R over I. Sorry, over I. With this, we've seen the formulas for finding the R S and the R M, that is the shunt resistance 
and the multiplier resistance as applicable to both the ammeter and the voltmeter. Shortly, let's take an example to help us understand it better. And my example says that a moving coil instrument gives a full scale deflection when the current is 40 milliammeter. Now that is here is my moving coil equipment. It has a small resistance. Here is the small resistance RE, and it has a current. It gives a full scale deflection when the current in it, that is my current that will move through this, should be 40 milliamp meter. Now calculate the value of shunt connected in parallel. Now the shunt that I will connect in parallel, here is my shunt. We say my shunt is RS. Now I'm to calculate the value of this shunt that will be connected in parallel for measuring current up to 50 amps. The current I want to measure is 50 amps. Now for this example, what I'll do is I'll follow the same procedure I used to derive the formula to help you understand it better. If you look at it critically, you see that current will flow through my shunt and will tag that IS. So that my 50 amps will be the same thing as IS plus 40 milliamp meter. That is 50 amps is equal to IS plus 0 0.04. Now my IS obviously will be the same thing as 50 minus 0 0.04. That equals to 49.96. If IS is 49.96 amps, now obviously we note that the voltage across my RE is the same voltage across my RS. Like we said while deriving the formula, we said IS, RS will be the same thing as IE, RE. So that's my RS now it equals to IE, RE over IS, which is the same thing as my IE is 40 milliamps times 10 raised to power minus 3 times RE, my RE. We're given that the resistance we're given that the resistance is 25 ohms. So that my RE is the same thing as 25 over IS. We have found IS to be 49.96. RS now will be the same thing as From my calculator, 40 times 25 that's equals to 1000 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 over 49.96. Now, this obviously 10 raised to the power 3 minus 3 over 49.96. RS is equal to 1 over 49.96, which is equal to 